For nearly two decades, it has stood on Cleveland's lakefront. But tonight, the future of the big wind turbine outside the Great Lakes Science Center is up in the air. News 5 investigator Scott Knoll takes a look at what's happening and why it could be a part of a larger issue for green energy. For the last 17 years, it's been as much a part of the lakefront as the lighthouses, the stadium, and the Rock Hall. The background for countless vacation photos, including tourists like Pachaya Pinich Kuldi. I never see this kind of things in Thailand. The wind turbine in front of Great Lakes Science Center, picture perfect to her. I want to take pictures to show my family back home. But watch for a while and you'll notice, despite the breeze blowing, it's not moving. <laughs> think that's unusual? Yeah, yes, definitely. Turns out it hasn't for years. But we're having some challenges with it. Amanda Taunt is vice president of operations at Great Lakes Science Center. She says an inspection back in the summer of 2019 found a gear needed replaced. As a precaution, the turbine was shut down. We assumed that it would be a relatively easy part. It's a critical component in the turbine. Instead? Uh, but we very quickly found that that part is no longer made and it has not been made for a very long time. The Science Center's wind turbine first began spinning in 1993 on a wind farm in Denmark before making the move to America in 2006. That means this is now 30 years old. Well, it may not sound that old. Uh, most wind turbines are designed to operate safely for a period of about 20 to 25 years with today's technology. Grant Goodrich heads Case Western Reserve University's Great Lakes Energy Institute. He says think of wind turbines like cars. The older they get, the harder it can be to find parts. Uh, sometimes instead of being able to get it at the dealership same day, now they have to order it. It takes a week, it takes two weeks. Uh, if it's a very old system, you can't find the parts at all. You're on, you're on eBay Motors looking for you know, something that was made in the 1970s. And it's not just an issue in Cleveland. Here in Bowling Green, Ohio's first wind farm began generating power in 2003. A year later, two more wind turbines were added. But after two decades, the city says these are nearing the end of their lives. One is already shut down. The other three scheduled for retirement in 2025. The city citing maintenance as the reason. So how big of an issue are aging wind turbines? News 5 investigators analyzed data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Of the more than 71,000 operating wind turbines nationwide, we found more than 9% of them, or just under 6,700, are now 20 years or older. Meaning operators are increasingly facing questions about what to do next, says Goodrich. And I, I think the takeaway for you know, as we, as we talk about trying to grow renewable energy uh, across the country, it, we do have to be mindful of replacing systems that are aging. But at what cost? Upwards to half million dollars, quarter of a million dollars, um, very significant. So it would be a significant investment. That, coupled with the uncertainty of what planned lakefront development could mean for the Science Center's front yard, means for now the turbine remains still. A cloudy future as America pushes toward a greener tomorrow. Could it have spun for its last time already? I hope not. <laughs> she says the Science Center has not decided what the future of the wind turbine is, but Goodrich says operators really have three choices. Pay to fix what's broken, replace the turbine, often with a larger one that generates more electricity, or simply retire it. Live in the newsroom, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.